A United Airlines flight from L.A. to New York was stopped shortly before takeoff while police investigated two passengers who didn't comply with flight attendant's instructions. Let's take a live look now from our LAX camera. You can see everything's back to normal at this point now and some rain layer moving in. But Eyewitness News reporter Rob Hayes joins us live with why pilots were especially concerned. Rob. Well, it turns out this was a case of nature calling at a very inopportune time. Police tell us that there was never any mention of bombs or never any, any threats that were made. But the pilot was so spooked by the man's behavior that he decided to bring the plane back to the gate and have explosive sniffing dogs go through it. United Airlines Flight 22 sits at the LAX gate this morning, surrounded by police cars. The jetliner, bound for New York and ultimately Cairo, was getting ready to take off when one of the passengers ignored a flight attendant's instructions to stay seated and instead ran to the bathroom. After the person came back out of the uh, restroom, he went back to his seat. Uh, at that time, the flight attendant noticed that the bathroom <clears throat> appeared to be a little bit disarrayed, meaning that it was untidy. There were some papers, paper towels and a few doors and things like that open. That was enough to raise the suspicions of the plane's captain, who then brought the jetliner and its 110 passengers back to the terminal. Once back at the gate, airport police removed the man and a passenger sitting next to him from the plane without incident. After questioning the man, the FBI released a statement saying, quote, the passenger is being interviewed in connection with the incident and is cooperative. No criminal charges are anticipated. Meantime, the president of the Association of Flight Attendants says it's important to get the message out that defying a flight attendant's instructions can lead to fines and even arrest. Passengers are traveling on board aircraft, that the instructions from flight attendants are not, um, are not options. They're very specific, and again, they're driven by FAA regulations and safety and security regulations. In this situation, all the passengers were removed from the plane, rescreened, and allowed to get back on board. The United Airlines flight eventually taking off for New York several hours late. A very inconvenient price to pay for a relatively short restroom break. As for the two men who were questioned, the FBI says they didn't know each other before the flight. They had just met on the plane. One man booked a flight on another airline to go to New York. The other one decided to stay in L.A. Reporting live in LAX, Rob Hayes, ABC7 Eyewitness News. According to officials, a passenger became unruly, ignored the flight attendant's instructions, and then took off for the bathroom just a few seconds before that flight was supposed to take off. Airline personnel were concerned about the suspicious behavior, and so the captain of the plane turned the plane around, flew back to the gate. Right now, with us live from LAX, NBC4's Gordon Tukamatsu, and he has the latest on the situation. Gordon. Well, Colleen, at this point, no one will confirm this guy's national origin nor the foreign language he happened to be speaking at the time, but some passengers are wondering if maybe that had something to do with how all of this turned out. This sort of thing does happen, say flight attendants, but this morning, for reasons that are still not entirely clear, they can turn into bigger things. United Flight 22, bound for New York out of LAX, about 8.30 in the morning. Airport police say a man got up out of his seat while the plane was taxiing. It appears that he needed to use the restroom, and that's why he got up. But uh, you just can't do that. You have to be in your seat. In fact, says Darren Sharoma, president of the airport's flight attendants union, if you don't listen to the flight crew, you're breaking some pretty serious rules. Flight attendants are the authorities on the aircraft cabin, and that we are giving the instructions because we are required to by federal law. And United Flight 22 was sent on its way just a few hours later. We understand one of the men booked another flight, and the second guy actually just gave up and went home. So some inconvenience and maybe a little embarrassment here at LAX this morning. Reporting live, I'm Gordon Tokumatsu. Colleen, back to you.